Well, there's no doubt that regular cancer screenings can save your life, and it may be easier to treat in a lot of cases it is when it's detected early. Hector Mejia is live this morning talking with doctors about colorectal cancer awareness and has some really important information we could all use. Hi, Hector. Good morning. Hey there, Alex. Good morning. We are at Comprehensive Cancer Centers by Eastern and Twain at their Central Valley location, just uh, getting a behind the scenes look at what it takes uh, to do some research, too. So, we're also talking about the topic and we're also getting a live look at some of the work that's happening here. So, this is where some of the blood samples are uh, collected, tested, and some are frozen for research. And believe it or not, a lot of uh, clinical trials are happening here in our own valley. Joining us live, we have Dr. Fadi Breite, medical oncologist, here to talk to us. All right, so what's the main message you want folks to get at home as we talked about Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Colon cancer, it's still, you know, the second deadliest cancer in man. It's one of the common cancer we recognize. A thousand people would die. Uh, uh, will die a, a, a week from colon cancer. Although four out of five new colon cancer are early stage cancer, which are treated with surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, 20% uh, or one in five are already presenting in late stage disease. And uh, it's also interesting to know because, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of people postponed getting screened. So doctors all across the country are expecting a surge in, 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 in rates. Absolutely. Elective surgeries and procedures, colonoscopy being elective during the pandemic, has been placed on hold for many patients because of shortage of materials and to avoid ho hospital crowding. This has really put pressure and a backlog on cases to undergo screening. You know, there are different modalities, colonoscopy being a preferred one for, my, for myself because it allows you to removal of precancerous lesions. Doctor, for those watching at home who, you know, may be curious, well, I don't know what to look out for. What are, what are some of those warning signs or symptoms to pay attention to? First, if you're 45 or older, no symptoms needed, you qualify for screening, talk to your primary care doctor. Otherwise, even if you're younger, and I insist if you're younger, any blood in the stool, any change in your bowel habits, constipation, diarrhea, that is lasting more than two weeks, that is a warning. Anemia, if otherwise not explained and not worked up, could be the early signs of cancer, and hopefully you don't wait to start experiencing unexplained weight loss is of concern, and of course, abdominal pains, I'm not saying every abdominal pain is a sign of cancer, is, is a signal as well. Doctor, thank you for your time and for giving us a behind the scenes look here before patients even come in this morning. So there you have it. You know, make sure your loved ones know about it. You know, encourage them to get screened. I'm actually going to give my dad a call, ask him if he got screened uh, anytime recently. And, you know, make sure everyone is healthy so we can all have a, you know, long life and we can all, you know, enjoy our own family time with each other. For now, reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now. Back to you guys.